హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఇన్సైట్స్ ఐ క్యాన్ ఇనిషియేటివ్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ యూ ఆల్ నో దట్ ఇస్రో సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ డన్ ద సాఫ్ట్ ల్యాండింగ్ ఆఫ్ చంద్రాయన్ త్రీ ఆన్ సౌత్ పోల్ ఆఫ్ ద మూన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ అచీవ్మెంట్స్ టు ఇండియాస్ ఇస్రో యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ద సైంటిస్ట్ కమ్యూనిటీ అండ్ టు ద ఎంటైర్ నేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ ప్రౌడెస్ట్ మూమెంట్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ద స్టెపింగ్ స్టోన్ ఫర్ ద ఫర్దర్ ఎక్స్ప్లోరేషన్ ఆన్ ద మూన్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఎక్స్ప్లోరేషన్ ఆన్ ద ప్లానెట్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఆస్పీషియస్ మూమెంట్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ చంద్రాయన్ త్రీ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ what are the components present in the chandrayaan 3 and we are going to discuss about so what are the payloads present in the chandrayaan 3 we will compare chandrayaan 3 with chandrayaan 2 and we will discuss about chandrayaan 1 as well okay now before we discuss further first we will see the syllabus mapping in syllabus mapping this topic is related to general studies paper 3 science and technology especially the space technology and india's achievement in the space technology in this video components we are going to discuss about why in news already i told you why this chandrayaan 3 is in news then we will discuss about detailed information regarding the chandrayaan 3 and what were the challenges overcome by chandrayaan 3 with respect to south pole and what why isro launched this mission particularly in south pole why south pole is very that much important then we will discuss about comparison of chandrayaan 1 2 3 and what kind of payloads we have sent and how will this mission will be implemented and what kind of different missions you know like not only the landing mission we will discuss about the flyby impact missions different types of other missions towards the moon that also we will discuss in the end of this video now first we will discuss about why it is in news you all know that students chandrayaan 3 in news because obviously this particular chandrayaan 3 was launched by the isro first you have to know what are the objectives of the chandrayaan 3 these are the three major objective with respect to chandrayaan 3 listen carefully number one we would like to successfully demonstrate the safe as well as the soft landing on the lunar surface lunar means moon on moon surface landing are two types okay soft landing as well as a hard landing recently luna 25 experienced the hard landing hard landing obviously it will destroy the entire equipment whereas the soft landing it will serve the purpose next we would like to demonstrate the rover roving on the moon you know like in this mission we have lander as well as a rover once is landed obviously the rover start moving so we want to test the rover as well then to conduct the in situ scientific experiment that means the conducting experiment on the surface of the moon itself rather than collecting samples from the moon we would like to conduct the experiment on the moon itself these are the three objectives behind the chandrayaan 3 now let us see further details regarding the chandrayaan 3 it is the third lunar exploration before this one already we wish experimented with chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 this in this orbiter is going to have you know like in this chandrayaan 3 we are not going to have orbiter why because already we launched orbiter through chandrayaan 2 with chandrayaan 2 we launched lander rover and orbiter that orbiter is already serving its purpose so now chandrayaan 3 is not having the orbiter it is only having the lander as well as rover and of course in this chandrayaan 3 apart from the apart from the you know like uh, this lander and rover even we have one propulsion module this propulsion module will help in relaying the communication so the chandrayaan 3 in summary it is consist of propulsion module lander as well as rover very very important it is not containing orbiter orbiter is already we launched through chandrayaan 2 next how this mission will be implemented once the successful the landing is done obviously this lander the lander name is vikram this lander will open and it will deploy the rover that is known as pragnan the successful landing so far how many countries done the successful landing us russia and china three countries done the successful landing successful soft landing on the moon surface crash landing you know that recently russia's luna 25 experienced the crash landing as well as india's chandrayaan 2 experienced the crash landing in 2019 and even in 2022 japan and uae they experimented even they failed to do the the soft landing this pragnan rover it will conduct the in situ experiment and you have to know that students here this chandrayaan 3 let us see this chandrayaan 3 equipments this chandrayaan 3 was launched using the lvm3 
launch vehicle mark 3 here this consists of two solid stage one liquid stage as well as one cryogenic stage it consists of now if you look at here there, there are various stages in the chandrayaan mission you know chandrayaan revolved around the earth before it started to the lunar orbit so that means here earth bound maneuvers were there even the moon bound maneuvers were there and what are the components present in the chandrayaan 3 already i explained lander rover we are not sending the orbiter this time okay and compared to the cost of chandrayaan 3 okay and chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 is less cost compared to the chandrayaan 2 because chandrayaan 3 is not having the orbiter pretty much very simple regarding this lander and rover already explained the names also we did not change now I'll come back if you compare the chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 3 just let us have some basic comparison chandrayaan 1 2008 chandrayaan 2 2019 chandrayaan 3 2023 to study the lunar surface chandrayaan 2 study the lunar surface as well as landing and roving the same related to chandrayaan 3 chandrayaan 1 components orbiter as well as the moon impact probe so moon impact probe is nothing but it will just hard hitting the moon surface whereas chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 3 they both had orbiter lander and rover findings chandrayaan 1 the most significant finding of chandrayaan 1 was it discovered the presence of water molecules on moon surface regarding the chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 3 we are awaiting for the you know like findings of these i mean these missions communication it communication issued after 312 days of operations whereas chandrayaan 2 crash landed and chandrayaan 3 will establish the communication based on the future developments whereas chandrayaan 1 launched with pslv chandrayaan 2 launched with gslv mark 3 and chandrayaan 3 launched with the lvm launch vehicle mark 3 okay so chandrayaan 2 specifically wanted to explore the lunar south pole in the same way chandrayaan 3 also want to explore the lunar south pole so these are the comparison of the chandrayaan 1 2 3 now let us see challenges of landing on the south pole you know what are the challenges in landing the south pole we'll see first of all landing near the equator that means moon's equator is easy compared to the landing on the south pole why because the south pole especially the terrain is very rough as well as the absence of you know like a proper landing site and presence of so many steep slopes and not having enough sunlight so visibility is also very less because it never exposed to sun extreme temperature and permanent shadow region so these are some of the challenges on landing the south pole now let's see so why I so far we discussed about what are the difficulties now we are going to discuss about why we want to explore this chandrayaan i mean moon south pole let us see water resources we want to explore the water molecules trapped as ice in the in the shadow region and second one because this presence of water is obviously essential for the future human existence on the moons next it also gives information about moon history as well as how this moon history helped you know like how moon formed it is not only helped to the moon's history even it helps in the formation of the to start to know the formation of the solar system such as earth's moon system and some other information and of course if it is successful we are planning to have some global collaboration with other countries such as japan in future in 2024 their project name is lupex it was also aiming to land near the south pole so i hope you understood you know like why the south pole is that much having the significance and even it also showcases the technological advancements also the isros is successfully able to land on the south pole means obviously we are having that kind of technology and even we can give this help to other countries in launching the experiment towards the south pole about the launch vehicle mark 3 this launch vehicle mark 3 is all about the three stage launch vehicle it is somewhat advanced to the gslv mark 3 it consists of two solid propellant stages one liquid stage as well as one cryogenic stage that you have to understand and it carry the payload up to the 8000 kgs kgs that means if we get enough success with respect to the this uh, you know like launch vehicle mark 3 even it's going to help in in very much towards the gaganyaan project as well 
Chandrayaan 3 payloads. The payloads consist of number one, propulsion module. This propulsion module consists of spectro polarimetry of habitable planet Earth shape. Very, very important in MCQ point of view. This payload is mainly, it looks for the smaller planets. What are the smaller planets present nearby our solar system? Next, lander payloads. There are the four payloads in lander. They are radio anatomy of moon bound, hypersensitive, ionosphere and atmosphere, Ramba. Next, passive experiment. This is from NASA and this is going to accurately measure the distance between the moon as well as Earth. Third one, Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment, CHAST, to measure the thermal conductivity and temperature. Third e payload. Fourth one, instrument for lunar seismic activity, ILSA, for measuring the seismicity around the landing site. That means how much that kind of impact created seismic activity, how much it was there. It will be there. And Langmuir probe, it will estimate the plasma density on the moon's surface. These are the payloads going to be there on the lander. Rover payloads, alpha particle X-ray spectrometer APXS and laser induced breakdown spectroscope LIBS. These are the payloads present in the rover. So this is these are the payloads on the lander as well as the rover. Next, what are the other missions? What are the different types of missions generally we use towards the moon? They are number one, flybys. Flybys are nothing but they fly past the moon okay so they don't uh, land or they don't hit the moon surface these are the ones they goes near the moon but they don't get any you know like they don't enter into the orbit of the moon example pioneer 3 4 of usa as well as luna 3 of the ussr next orbiter they orbits around the moon but they don't land best example india's chandrayaan 1 and even the india's chandrayaan 2 which can which orbit is still working impact mission this impact mission here will deliberately make uncontrollable landing on the moon surface best example moon impact probe it was um, it was launched with the chandrayaan 1 next landers it is about landing on the moon successfully these are so far luna 9 from ussr even from china also they done the successful soft landing in the recent past okay and of course rovers i mean rovers means obviously not only the landing even that equipment will move on the moon surface with the help of wheel payloads that is going to be the pragyan actually in chandrayaan 2 of course it was not successful in chandrayaan 3 now next human mission this is about directly sending human onto the surface of moon already we have seen in form of nasa's apollo mission now nasa is also planning the artemis program through which they are going to spend i mean send humans onto the moon surface now we'll see chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 1 mission details it was launched in 2008 it orbited around the moon first moon mission it discovered the presence of water it consists of orbiter as well as impactor no lander no i mean no rover you have to understand it launched by pslv and it was operational for how many days 312 days next chandrayaan 2 it was launched in 2019 it consists of orbiter, lander and rover because of the hard crash this you know like lander and your rover got damaged only orbiter is still working it was india's first attempt to do the, to the soft landing on the moon's south pole it was launched by gslv mark 3 it aimed to test our capabilities of soft landing on the moon surface and it carried around eight scientific payloads and the names of the lander as well as rover both are same we did not change what is the way h so this kind of lunar experiments they are going to pay you know like they are going to give further information towards the future and these experiments can be you know like act as a motivation for us to explore further information on the moon as well as other planets beyond the solar system okay yesterday's video question in case of fetal disability what is the limit of timeline for abortion according to the medical termination of pregnancy act according to the mpt ntp act what is the limit for the fetal you know disability that is the no limit there is no limit it can be go beyond 24 weeks also now today's video today's video question consider the following statement regarding the chandrayaan 3 out of these two statements which statement is right regarding the chandrayaan 3 
main's question india's discuss achievements of india in science and technology and how these achievements are going to going to help in the socio economic development in india so this is today's main's question before we end this video we discuss in this video we discussed about chandrayaan 3 detail information what kind of components present in chandrayaan 3 and comparison of chandrayaan 1 2 3 and we also discussed about various missions towards the moon such as impactor flyby and uh, landing of humans onto the surface of moon this kind of different missions also we discussed and why it is very challenging to land on south pole and why this landing south pole is significant to india so these are the information these are the details we discussed and this is the detailed analysis regarding the chandrayaan 3